So in this demo, we're talking about premise-based solutions for business critical applications. And joining me is Anurag. Hi. Great to have you here. Same here. So talk to us. I know we're focused here a little bit on the branch and branch design. And I think some of the key themes that we've talked about are really survivability uh, as well as an applications integrated into the network. That's right. So talk to me about what we're demoing and what some of the challenges our customers face within branch design. I think the primary focus is, and you mentioned the keyword survivability, mm -hmm. that entirely impacts an employee productivity. Absolutely. Think of it, some, some of the services like DNS, DSCP, mm -hmm. which can be served by a central site, but then you're entirely dependent on a van outage. Mm -hmm. If an outage happens and if an employee walks in a branch office, he cannot get an IP address. That means his productivity is entirely zero at Absolutely. that point of time. So we have the concept where you can have survivable applications run inside branch routers. Okay. This example is by Infoblox, which uses the concept of distributed databases. That means a central site can serve IP addresses. However, if there's a man outage, the branch can take over so that the employee productivity doesn't get impacted. Okay. They also use the concept of IP address management mm -hmm. that gives network administrators a very good flexibility of seeing which IPs are provisioned in which part of a country, mm -hmm. in which state, in which county, up to a building. Mm -hmm. So this visual appeal is extremely useful for network administrators. Within this solution here, what you're telling me is I can have uh, real granular visibility into IP addressing, and if there's a WAN outage, the, uh, the local branch can, can still maintain that's IP right. addressing schemes. That's right. So that's fantastic. in the end, the goal is that the employee productivity should always be 100% right. at any instance of time. Okay. Now, we also talked about application uh, performance directly into the network. So uh, I think that's a different part of the demo here. So talk to us about that. We're showing how Cisco technologies like video surveillance. Now, take, take an example of a retail outlet. Mm -hmm. If you have a retail outlet after office hours, you might want to monitor what's going out in the store. Mm -hmm. and we are showcasing how change in motion can be leveraged by other Cisco technologies or other third-party technologies to activate motion. And so activate let's, uh, let's just kind of capture this here. So what you just did is you waved your hand in front of that video camera, and that's triggered an alert. We hear this siren playing on the phone. That's right. Now, why would that be useful? Why would a customer want to do that? So if it's a retail outlet after office hours, if the owner is not expecting any motion, he can activate motion detection on camera, and now he can use one of the technologies by SingleWire called Informacast, which can integrate with Cisco technology like IP phones or IP speakers. So you're showing how Cisco partners are collaborating or leveraging Cisco technologies and building customized solutions. All these technologies are running virtualized and all happening inside the router platform. So it's like a branch in a box where you can do networking, you can do switching, and now you have an ability to post applications in one box. Multi-service, that's Multi -service. great. So we've got survivability on the one hand for IP addressing and other uh, network services, and then we have uh, application integration into the, uh, the breadth or the, the thread of the network itself. That's right. Yeah. Anurag, very interesting. Thanks Thank you. for your time. Thank you so much. So what you see here today are uh, premise-based solutions really to enhance the performance of mission-critical applications. From Cisco Live, thanks for tuning in.